It's all going to really kick off for you guys this summer over the next few months. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what happens? Basically, Lawrence is shot, isn't he? By my son. Um, and Chrissy will do anything to defend her son and protect him. So she's obviously looking for someone to frame. Um, and Andy sort of steps up as that guy. Yeah. So why have things gone so, why are things going so sour between Andy? It's a, it's a catalogue of events, it's not just one thing. Um, she finds out some things about him which makes her question his very being. I think she's like, he's not the guy that I thought he was, maybe he's as bad as his brother and she didn't think that was possible. And I think there's a lot of bad things that have happened to her in her life with men, um, main one being his brother. Um, so I think this is just something that just sends her over the edge and she's also looking for a scapegoat and someone to pin it on. Um, and because of all these feelings that are flying around of sort of hurt and betrayal, that kind of just adds to it and she kind of sets her sights on him really. And is framed, yeah. Um, she does an amazing job of, of kind of the evidence is so, so stacked against him so heavily um, that what is, seems like an absolute ridiculous idea to be uh, questioned in the police station of the attempted murder of Lawrence uh, quickly develops into something quite serious and mm. it's quite clear that there's a really good chance that this could turn horribly wrong. Yeah, he might and actually go down for it, which I think at the beginning was just, you know, so far-fetched, like you said. Um, she puts in a really good performance, I think, with everybody, and it becomes more and more believable. And I think with the way things have gone in the past and things that Robert has done, and people just go, you know, people start accepting that there's a possibility that he might have done it. Yeah, so we're going to see a different side to Christy, aren't we? Yes, yeah. I think so, yeah. I think it's been building for a really long time, and then she just snaps. And it's sort of a number of things that make her do it. And I think what Andy does is just the final straw, really. So is she actually prepared to see Andy go to prison? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Which is terrifying. Bitch. Bitch. Girls that have grown up with money are quite terrifying anyway. I know a few of them and they are, that you don't really want to mess with them because their whole lives, they're sort of afforded this confidence of that the world is theirs if they want, you know, for the taking, if they want it. And she's had that. Um, and then on top of that, to add in sort of all this anger and betrayal um, and hor nasty feelings of jealousy and a woman scorned is just sort of building this sort of character that you don't really want to mess with. Yeah. Um, which, like I said, it slowly happens over all the things that happened to all the tragedy that happened to her with Robert. Because Andy's, Andy, she's jealous as well, isn't she, about the relationship between Andy and Bernice? Yeah. So I Calvin, wouldn't want to be Bernice, no. really, because I don't know how that's going to pan out for her. Andy always seems to be drawn back to Bernice, doesn't he? Yeah. Why do you think that is? Um, I do think there's a real strong connection there. You know, the, t the two people who, 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 I think when we first got together, the audience did not see it coming. I didn't see it coming. I don't think Sam did as well. Um, but she's someone, you know, who's, who's great to work with. Uh, and even a relationship that I see myself when I'm watching on TV, you know, it, it kind of, they have, do have a connection there and it, it does kind of seem, you know, pretty fitting really. So, um, yeah, every time they kind of do just about get there and then something kind of stands in the way and, and this time it's Chrissy and I think it's, it's Andy's reluctance to, uh, he kind of puts himself aside for one minute and thinks more so for Chrissy really and doesn't want to let her down. So, um, it's a shame because I think Andy Benitez maybe could be happy but uh, Andy's too much of a nice guy and I think he just wants to kind of be, be loyal to, to Chrissy. And Lachlan, is, he's always been slightly out of control, but we're going to see a whole new kind of side to him. Slightly out. Yeah. <laughs> I think the, all three of them, the White family, are completely out of control now, so God, I, just, I don't know what's going to happen.